Hello once again, everybody. Steve Pelican giving you a rundown of what's happening with Louisiana Raging Cajun softball. Cajuns coming off of their second consecutive sweep. Of course, last week they swept a three-game set from the University of Texas at Arlington, winning the first game by the final score of 18 to nothing, winning game two, four to one, and then taking the uh, the third game uh, eight to nothing. You know, uh, it, it seemed like it was going to be really, really easy. Uh, after that first game, 18 to nothing, and really it kind of was, you know, but you get a little bit spoiled, but the Cajuns won uh, that first game, 18 to nothing, and they go on to to win the series and sweep the three-game set as they outscore UT Arlington 30 to 1 in that series. They had the day off on Sunday, and then they come back on Monday and defeat Georgia Southern in, uh, in the first game of that three-game set. Cajuns win that 8 to 2. They capture game 2, 12 to 1, and then they capture the nightcap by the final score of nine to nothing. So, you know, even against uh, even against Georgia Southern, they only allowed three runs uh, in, in that series. So, you know, the Cajuns continue to play great softball right now. Uh, Jordan Wallace, congratulations to her. 84 career victories right now. That's tied for fourth on the all-time Raging Cajun win list. Also, Wallace um, uh, it has eclipsed 800 strikeouts, only the fifth Cajun softball pitcher able to surpass 800 strikeouts in a career, and the Cajuns have now won 27 consecutive home games. So they sit at 23-3 and overall in the season, 8-1 and in Sunbelt Conference play, and again, just playing great softball right now. They're not playing perfect softball, but they're playing really good softball. Haley Hayden's hitting at the top of the order. Shelly Landry leads the conference. Uh, in home runs and, and RBIs, and Lexi Elkins, of course, right behind her. Kelsey Vincent's been on a roll as of late. Um, Samantha Walsh hit a home run in the Georgia uh, Southern Series. Aaliyah Creighton had a good series, uh, as did DJ Wallace, the freshman shortstop. So, again, they continue to play really good softball. Cajuns in action this weekend, playing host of the Troy Trojans at Lamson Park. That will be a doubleheader Saturday at 2 o'clock, a single game Sunday at noon. You can hear all the games on ESPN 1420 and.com. Take a look at your uh, Sunbelt Conference standings uh, right now. And a, a big win for ULM last night as they run roll Ole Miss out of the SEC. So a, a nice win for ULM in the conference right now. The Cajuns lead the way at 8-1. Georgia State is 5-1. ULM is 4-1 and, and playing really good softball. Texas State is four and two. You got uh, Troy at three and three. Troy swept a three-game set from Appalachian State last week, so the Trojans come in uh, kind of hot. South Alabama is two and three. And we have three winless teams in the conference. UT Arlington is zero and three. Appalachian State and Georgia Southern both zero and six. Overall in the league, the Cajuns lead the way at 23 and three overall. Right behind you got Georgia State at 19 and four, and again ULM with an impressive start. The Warhawks are 19 and seven to begin the 2015 season. Three teams under 500 in the conference right now: UT Arlington, Appalachian State, and Georgia Southern. But again, Cajuns 23 and three overall in the year, eight and one in Sun Belt Conference play. Back in action this weekend, playing host of the Troy Trojans in a three-game weekend Sun Belt Conference series. Cajuns continue to be ranked number seven in the latest college softball polls. For ESPN1420.com, I'm Steve Pelican.